All right, so in today's video, we're going to be talking about topoisomerase. And what that is, it's an enzyme used in DNA replication. Um, and what it does, it unwinds tension in the double helix. A lot of people get it confused with uh, helicase, which helicase, what it does is it separates the two strands, um, two strands of DNA. But first, what we have to do is unwind that tension of the double helix first. So it's kind of like a rope. So let's go on to the next slide. You'll see what I'm talking about. See this? This is a rope here. Duh. And it, it resembles the double helix. There's a lot of tension there. So what we have to do is unwind this DNA. Um, and that's where top Y race comes in. And why is this, um, why is the DNA in this form? It's because there's a high affinity for the two strands to be together. This strand says, hey, I want to be with this strand. They're together, high affinity. And because it's energetically favorable, it's, it's, um, it's less energy. And we know that in biological um, reactions, things prefer to be in the less energetically state it possibly can find. And that's why we have the double helix. Um, but there's a problem with unwinding. The DNA must rotate once every 10 base pairs to prevent twisting. Because remember, you have all this DNA that's packaged inside of the nucleus. It's called supercoiling. You have these um, nucleosomes, you have chromatin. They're, they're packaged with these histone proteins. They're all packaged so tightly into this DNA, um, into the nucleus. So how are we able to transcribe that DNA? right so what we have to do is unwind that double helix okay so let's see here I kind of already have some drawings on here that I was going through um, let me see if I could just erase it so I can you know go over it again um so as we see here this is the standard confirmation the double helix right then you have this DNA ladder this is this is what we want because this here is the double helix in, in that confirmation. We want it to unwind. And that's what top isomers is for. So we want to go from this to this. Because once it's to this, we can add that primer. We can um, have helicase separate the two. And then we can have DNA polymerase transcribe that um, single strand. Okay. Let's go on to the next slide here. And again, let me just erase this. And like I said, um, well, I don't know if I said it before, but in a lot of videos I see, you know, they're, they're uh, making it very long and going into the molecular side, all this stuff. We just want to get the basis of what top y summaries does, um, how it works. If you guys want me to make a separate video later on talking about um, the more the molecular side, we can do that. For now, let's just stick to, you know, just the basics. So how does top Y summaries one work? Um, by the way, there are many other top Y summaries, but for the sake of this video, we'll only go over one and two because, I mean, they're the most important. So there's something called tyrosine. And tyrosine is this molecule here. So we know this is the enzyme. And at the bottom, we have tyrosine here. And what that does is um, it hydrolyzes the phospho phosphodiester bond, right? It's, a, it's used as a catalyst to hydrolyze that phosphodiester bond. And what happens is that bond breaks. And of course, this is a very favorable reaction because heat is released. Um, and like I said here, some ATP is used for the reaction. Some is used to release the torsional strain because remember it's in the double helix. There's a lot of strain and then some is used to remake the phosphodiester bond. So this reaction is very reversible. So we have the enzyme top of isomerase. We have the tyrosine breaks the, uh, the, um, Breaks the phosphodiester bond, double helix. And now look at this. This strand is able to rotate. And since it can rotate, that relieves the strain. Got that? So now, with the rest of the energy left over, it doesn't, not all the energy is used. It's just amazing how this process is. Some is reserved to remake that bond. Once it's turned over, relieves that strain, 
it's turned over, remakes that bond, and boom. Now you have this ladder structure. Okay, so let's go back a bit. I think I missed a picture here that, yeah, like up here, you can see there's strain. There's double helix, super coiling there. We want to relieve that, right? And that's what top uh, topo isomerase does. That's topo isomerase one. Now, how does topo isomerase two work? And what it does is it binds, cuts, and moves one strand from one side to the other, relieves DNA tangle and super coils. You can. Uh, look at your headphones for example we all have Apple headphones or I mean if you have Android I mean I don't know what I, uh, whatever headphones you have they usually get tangled up so this is where top Y sound race 2 comes in so let's go into the next slide um, this is an illustration of what happens it's very simple and I also have a link down here I don't know if it'll open but I guess I'll just exit the PowerPoint and there's a gif um, that I found on a website um, by the way, no illegal use. Um, <laughs> and I'll just show that. But for now on, you see, you have this, the, the, these, these two are, uh, just strands that are just tangled. So top of summary has, it's like, it has these two units. So as you can see, what it does is it takes this, this, uh, green strand, it cuts it in half. And then this, um, yellow strand that was on top. It brings it down to the other side, as you see in, I guess this is uh, step three here. Step four brings the, um, brings the green one back to the top, and then you have the yellow down here. And then you see that goes there, and this green one goes right back out. So uh, what basically happened is you have this, try to illustrate this, think, like I said, think of your headphones. So like you, it, it's like tangled up and you have one over the other. What top of isomerase does basically is it just takes um, one from the top, bottom, cuts it, allows one to go under the loop and just separate. It just separates them. It's kind of like top of isomerase one, but except this is more think of tangling. You know, it has these two, uh, two units, one to cut, bring it over. Um, bring that one from the top back to up to the bottom okay so let me see if I could just pull up this gif real quick um, let me see how I can exit this or if it even let me like click the link here okay I guess not um, you just end show want to keep your ink I guess I'll keep it right uh, I think I have it here. Okay. So you can see here, this is a perfect illustration. I'll just keep this going and I guess I'll link it into the description as well. And thanks to Bio Slow Week, I guess, I don't know. He has his head on top of a, looks like a T4 bacteriophage, but whatever. That's, that's besides the point. Um, here's top Y summaries too. And you can just see it replaying over and over. See how it cuts one strand to allow that other strand to pass by. So it's detangled. Just keep looking at the illustration. It will make so much sense. Um, and I guess I'll just keep this playing while I talk. That's the end of the video. I said I wanted to keep it very short, straight to the point, what each one does. Not too much into the molecular side. If you want a video later on, I can do that. But that's Top of Isomerase 1, Top of Isomerase 2. If you like the video, leave a like. Please comment. There will be more videos coming. And have a nice day, guys. All right.